Hello guys, this is Tony and welcome to today's video. Um, today we have 19,000 key opening for the black market. There's a black market event going on. Um, there's some new weapons and bots in the workshop. And uh, the operation 50% faster progress also. Uh, everything's down in the description. Okay, first spin, we got a redeemer. Not a bad weapon. Let's see what we get for the second one. 5,000 power cells. That's awesome. Great prize there. Always need more power cells. You can never have enough. Alright, alright. 1,000 gold. I love it. Love to see the gold. Nice, 5,000 power cells again. That's a great prize. Fortifier, it's also a good prize. Nice module, that thing is great on the Typhon. Great on the Bulwark. Uh, bots like that, anything with the, the Aegis Shield. Okay, let's see what we get for our Super Chest. We get the Techno Scorpion. That's an awesome bot. I love the skin on it. It's really cool. Really cool looking bot. I already have a Scorpion leveled up with the paint job on it, so I'm not going to bother upgrading that thing. Oh, I thought I was going to get the 10 million silver. Fly Vicious Pilot. Okay. One thousand gold. That's good. I'll take gold, silver, power chips all day long. Ah, another Clyde vicious. All right, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh man, I thought we were gonna get that five thousand gold, man. That's probably the top prize in there. Pulsar, not a bad weapon at all. Still good for medium range, really not my style, but take it nonetheless. All right. Iskra pilot. Okay. Let's see. Oh, glacier. Oh, I thought I was gonna get that five thousand gold, man. I really, really want that five thousand gold. Let's see what we get in our second super chest. Another techno scorpion. Okay, okay. I mean, at minimum, you know, it's to me the way I see that that's 5.6 million silver. Just sell that bad boy. And there you go. Boom. What do we got? Spark. Okay, Spark. I have a couple of those level up already. I'll probably just be selling that one also. Stockpiling my silver. Um, I'm saving up all my silver, all my gold, all my platinum because there's a lot of new robots, weapons, titans, titan weapons coming out very, very soon. And I recommend everybody do the same thing. Yang Lee Pilot. Yeah, instead of wasting it on upgrading some older stuff, I'd rather save it for the, the new stuff that's coming out soon. 10 million silver. Yeah, whenever that new stuff comes out, weapons, bots, titans, I'm going to get it the moment it comes out, and I'm going to bring you guys gameplay with it as soon as possible. I'm really anxious, anxious and waiting uh, for that stuff to come out. All right, a cryo. 
all the cry the cryo of the glacier that rhyme they got a nerf a while back but with the shell being meta it kind of in, indirectly got a buff because it, they just do so well against those bots breaking its physical shield uh, 1000 gold awesome prize let's see what we got for our super chest and we get a another techno scorpion that's weird what um what do you have what have you guys been getting for your super chest have you guys been getting techno scorpions I'm just curious it seems like kind of strange to get three of those in a row but anyways let's see what else we got going here Nice, 1,000 gold, 1,000 gold, great prize, love it, love it, love it, I'll take that all day. Let's see what else we got here, another fortifier, very nice. Oh man, I thought it was gonna land on that platinum for a second. 100 platinum, that's a great price too. Uh, another Yang Lee pilot, don't really need it. Um, I already have one maxed out. Let's see what else we got. I guess that's it. Uh, let's go and hop into a game and see what we get. Alright, here we are. Uh, forgot to put on boosters, but whatever. Let's just see what happens. Boom. Like I like to hop on the home beacon really quickly because if you see in the left-hand corner, um, I have the raider ability and it activates uh, increased defense points. So that's really important, you know, for the opening battles. Because everybody comes with, uh, they come with the heat in the first, uh, first 30 seconds, that's for sure. up I see that guy has a purple shield and shooting at me so I try to dodge as much as I can fortunately I get my uh, shields knocked off okay double kill very nice Going off again. Got him down. I'm just a <laughs> a flaming a flaming stick of my former self. It's so weird to see this bot without uh, its shields on it, and it's just smoking, beat up. Oh boy, you got a Fenrir and a Ravana. These guys are gonna take me out quick. Mm-hmm. Try to back out to get as much damage as possible. So able to get that Ravana down the last stand, able to finish off that Fenrir, and I get taken out, but it was better than just me standing in the circle and getting killed. I was able to eliminate one opponent and bring another down the last stand. So in my book, that's a fair trade. Got a lot of value out of that robot. This Ravana, he's playing real, real peekabooey. He's playing smart, trying to get in and out of cover, using the angles, using cover, corner shooting. That player, you can tell he knows what he's doing. That Aljun's landing on our beacon. Rushing in to defend, hit my active healing for more damage. Take him out quickly. Duck in the cover for a moment to try to let my weapons reload a bit. Sonic weapons are awesome, but once they're all fired out, the, the reload of them is very slow, so you can't output much damage. And it seems like when you when the when it comes out, it's hard to track where to shoot because the delay is so long. So when possible, I like to let those sonic weapons recharge a bit. Okay, speaking of sonic weapons, we got the Fenrir with sonic weapons. This is a beast build. 
I love it. So much fun to play. I've been messing around with different module combinations, and drone chip combinations. I still haven't found the one that I'm in love with yet. This is kind of an all-arounder build. It's not specifically all damage or all defense. You kind of get the best of both worlds with this one. So as you can see, we're trailing in our beacon bar right now, but we do have three beacons, so that's going to slowly start to even out. Um, I probably wouldn't have pushed here had I seen a Titan. Uh, Fenrir's do great against regular robots uh, because of the resistance, but the Titan weapons uh, bypass resistance, so he gets taken out fairly quickly. And my ammo's out, as you see, and it's... I'm not able to output a lot of damage. Had I had a full clip, I would have been able to take that Titan out no problem. But, like I said, the reload on those weapons is kind of slow. And it leaves you kind of kind of wanting for more. I was trying to focus on that Falcon, but that Aljun went up. So my, my aim switched over to the other target. Um, that's one big complaint I have. Uh, the targeting system... It's kind of a little messed up in this game. I, I really hope Pixana works on that. I know they mentioned they're going to. I, and I know I'll be very happy when they do it, and I'm sure all of you guys will as well. Alright, can heal my teammate. Suppress that Minos. Try to take him out from behind. My teammate finishes the kill. This guy's dropping in the center, but I don't want to push out there. As I talked about in my previous video, that's a death sentence being in the middle of this map. But, I don't always follow my own advice, and I need to go capture that beacon back, so... I'm gonna push up. Titan Slayer, nice. Kind of just overseeing the battlefield, healing, suppressing, firing where needed, when needed. That's why I love the Noden so much. You kind of, you're kind of the general of the battlefield, and you could really swing a game one way or another when you're playing this thing properly. Okay, I'm gonna push up, try to assist with this Arthur. He's fighting my teammate. My teammate's health is very, very low. Oh, now I got his eyes on me. I'm starting to break through his shield. I hit my healing. Buy me another second. Hit the suppression. And boom, I was able to take him out. That was good. That was good. Okay, this is a this is a fun hawk build. I just put this on last night. This is one of the first games I played with it. Unfortunately, by the time I dropped it, all the enemy titans were gone. But there's one that just appeared right there. Just with the, the half a salvo I had left in the magazine, I, I was able to take nearly half his life. Um, unfortunately, he killed me. Now they got four beacons. We have one. They have three players, we have three players, but they have a Titan out. Boom, teleport across the map. Kill that Titan. Block that Hawk from lasering me and my teammate. Boom, shoot him, boom, boom, boom. Get him down to last stand. Tries to jump away to save his life. No good. Double kill. Alright, it's 3 to 1 right now. But they still have 3 beacons. We have 2. I mean, this was a heck of a fight, guys. I mean, GG's to everyone on my team. GG's to everyone on the opponent team. Like, everyone was fighting to nail. This was so much fun. Usually when I play a game right after doing an opening or something like that... You know, it's rarely like a good, good match, 
but this ended up being a very fun match i mean and i didn't even have boosters on um it was a ton of fun i hope you guys enjoyed it 11 kills 7.2 million damage seven beacons if you guys enjoy the content please consider subscribing keep coming back